All right, guys, Collector Corner here. We are on our way to go get a video game, uh, a bunch of video games. We're going to get a video game lot to resell. I'm uh, going to give you guys a rundown of where we're at once I get back. Um, we do have a whatnot auction coming up this Saturday. Um, whenever this video will be posted, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. But we have a video lot coming. I'll show you guys kind of what's in it generally. And obviously, we're going to run through what we pick up here today. 200 bucks. It's he said it's over a hundred video games. Um, I saw a couple Pokemon. I saw a couple Mario. Uh, a couple GameCube games in there. So it's it's a good lot for not even two dollars a game. So we're gonna we're on our way to go pick that up. It's about an hour away, so it's gonna be a little while. But grab that, come back, and then I'll show you guys what's up. What is going on everybody we are back we got the games um so i'm just gonna kind of take you through what i'm dealing with here what i kind of got going on and then we're gonna take a look at the games uh, i'm gonna show you what we got in the whatnot auction like i said saturday uh i think it's 7 p.m eastern time so we're gonna check that out see what's in there and then we'll take a look at the games so everything in that tote in these two totes except that that's for my grandparents they like Dale and Hart. so um everything in this tote it's going to be in the whatnot auction. Some of it's going to be giveaways. Some of it's going to be... But it's a lot of cards, as you can see. I mean, it's cool stuff. It's all carded. All boarded. All right. Maybe not all. But a lot of... Some NASCAR. But, I mean, like, if you look down here, we got some, like, coin banks. That's just a normal, uh, like, a hot rod. Uh, I think it's a Challenger. And then that, I think, is a coin bank. We got, like, a modern, like, um, kit car. We got some die cast kits. These are all NASCAR. I think they're 118s scale. And then this is all going to be on my eBay store. I've gone through these. Um, that's all. This is all listed. These stuff. This has not been gone through yet. I have no idea. I've noticed a lot of it's like. A lot of it's like bank cars. This one's kind of cool. <clears throat> But I haven't even been through this yet. Some of it's like this is just a normal NASCAR from something. This one's kind of cool. This is a van that actually is aftershave. Like it's heavy. It's got aftershave in it. Same kind of stuff over there. But we're going to get back to the main topic of this video. All these games. I'm going to go ahead. Um... Here doesn't look like much. We got some sports games. It is literally just a random lot of games. We got manuals. Oh, manuals and games. So no cases on these, but it looks like Grand Theft Auto 3. We got, what was that, PS2? The Plan. Karaoke Revolution. So these I'm going to be, I, I don't know, it's kind of hard. This game's kind of cool. I don't know why I like poker games, but those are kind of cool to like play. These are all just going to be disc only. We got some Call of Duty, Mortal Kombat. That'll be nice with the new game coming out. Rampage Total Destruction, Link's Crossbow Training. So is that a Zelda? It's gotta be a Zelda. Gears of War, whatever that is. Titanfall, Jam Pack, Wild Arms 2. Uh, moving the Call of Duty. Ooh, okay. If you guys don't know, I'm a Harry Potter nerd. If this was complete, I'd probably keep it. But I like to keep complete games. Uh, that was Spy Hunter. Soldier Frontier. Saber Frontier. Something. GTA 5 on the 360. And Perfect Dark Zero. So that is all the disc only games. I believe it should be. Unless you count these. So we got cartridge, Game Boys. We got Centipede and Millipede. And so that's the pile we just went through. I mean, that's the sports game, the cartridges, and the open discs. This is everything that was in the bags. We took a step back here to get the full display of the PS2s. So we got Nintendo. Not a very big stack. We got some Wii, uh, GameCube, and Pokin. I think it's like a... 
it's a Pokemon tournament, but it's on the Wii U. I think it was Japanese made. Metroid, I'm check that price. Um, Bomberman on the GameCube, I want to check that price. Probably both the GameCube games. Um, these are kind of some big brand names. Anthem might be something. I'll look that one up. Um, Skyrim always does pretty well. And then if there's any weird ones in there, I'll throw the price up on the screen. Here, we, this is getting, it's a little difficult. Pinball here is always pretty good. Um, Pitfall might be all right. Mortal Kombat might go up because of that new movie. We got a complete Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, might not be some big hitters here, but just stuff that's definitely going to go quick. But if there's any throughout there, I'll throw them up on the screen while I'm scrolling through them all. But like G-Force, anything Disney tends to do all right. Over here, FIFA Street 2, I believe, is a good one. Um, Minecraft is collectible. Yeah, again, you got another Mortal Kombat. Fallout 3 will sell quick. Just kind of things like things like that. They're big, big brand names, but they sell pretty fast. DJ Hero Two, I think, is gonna be pretty good. Um, ESO or Elder Scrolls Online. You got a Lego Marvel that might be all right. But yeah, this was all two hundred bucks. Um, so I believe I'm a. It's one hundred and four games is what he said roughly. What's under here? Oh, we got a PSP. So come. I don't think that's much of anything. But he said it's 104 games. So I believe at 200 bucks, it puts me in at $1.96 uh, a piece, I believe. So on eBay, as long as I'm selling them over three bucks, I'll be all right. And I think all these are five to ten dollar games, a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them are going to go quick. And then you guys saw anything that's kind of out of the ordinary. That's all I got for you. Definitely. Once again, Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll be, no, it won't be October yet. It'll be September 30th. So check that out. These will all be on my eBay store. Um, if they're sitting a little while, I'll check them up as a whatnot, but it'll probably be a couple weeks out. And that's kind of all I got. One more thing I am aiming. So I'm going to try to do these like reselling videos. This is how I... This isn't my full time. I actually am still in college, so I still go to school and everything, but this is how I get a lot of my money uh, doing these reselling videos. I'm gonna try to make, my goal is to make $10,000 before I go on vacation after Christmas. So I literally leave December 29th, that Friday after Christmas. So I'm hoping to make 10 grand before then. So that way it's, and we have Q4 coming up. So video games, um, comics, collectibles, those things are gonna be flying off the shelves right now. So that's kind of my goal. It's a little ambitious because I am just starting out, but I got to shoot for it. I'm going to try to get things that are moving quick, moving fast, and liquidate quick. So that's kind of all I got for you. Hopefully you guys stay tuned, and I'll see you later.